Welcome back to the channel. Right. Been having a little bit of think about movies. I mean, movies you can watch just downloading on your uh, iPhone now or stream it live to your TV. Now, I have a load of Blu-rays. I've been collecting Blu-rays for a few years. I've got rid of a few, like a lot of them actually. Um, but they're just sat there. I don't even use my PlayStation 3 anymore. You know, it's just stuck upstairs. And I'm wondering if I should clear them out and get rid of them. Now, some of them are rare, some of them are hard to get. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring them out here, put them in front of you, and maybe get rid of a few. Maybe get rid of a lot. We'll see. Um, so, I might as well get straight on with it, shall I? I'll see you in a little while. <laughs> Boom. This is it. Actually, I thought I had more than this. Actually, I have. I got my Bruce Lee ones, but they are staying put. So, should we quickly get through them? There's a few here to get through. So, let's start off with... What I'll do, yeah. I think I'll start... <laughs> there. And I'll put the... Definitely keeps there. Maybe the get rid of there. We'll see. Right. Harry Brown. Michael Caine film. First time I saw Plan B. Great film. But I haven't watched it for years. Um, Natural Born Killers. I actually have this on DVD somewhere. And it's the full director's cut. I think this is. But I think the, this one cut. The one I have on video, DVD somewhere. Somewhere. Is a... I can't even remember where I got it from now. Damn, memory. Sort yourself out. But, got it. True Romance, director's cut, Tony Scott film. Brilliant film. Got loads of great actors in it. Christopher Walken, Brad Pitt, Gary Oldman, Val Kilmer, Dennis Hopper, and obviously Patricia Arquette and Christian Slater. That's a great film, but really? What? Hell Drive. Nope. That's because I've been watching Blood Drive. Hell Ride with Larry Bishop. You might have seen Larry Bishop. He was in one of the Kill Bill films uh, as the owner of the strip bar. Hilarious. But I haven't watched it for years. Sin City. Great film. Frank Miller adaptation and um, Robert Rodriguez film. You know, Robert Rodriguez, Desperado and all that lot. Great film. It's again, you know, 300. I can watch it at a flick of a switch. Sorry, Clash of the Titans. No. Ah. I'm going to keep this next one. The Rocky Horror Picture Show. I don't know. I just, it's a cult film and I'm addicted to it. My That and the Little Shop of Horrors and the Blues Brothers, I guess. Don't start thinking about it. But anyway, I'm keeping it. And I'm keeping this too. Bad Boy Bubby. You probably ain't seen it. It's a bit of a strange film with Nicholas Hope. But I kind of like it. So let's stay in. Oh. Train Spotting. Train Spotting. Come on. Do I need it? I've got it. No. Sort your life out. This stuff ends up owning you. It drives you mad. And sometimes when I need one, I think, look at all that. Look, from there, look. And I don't watch them. Great film, Denzel, Training Day, but come on. Goodfellas, love it, but come on. How many times are you going to see the same film? Django Unchained, I love all the Quentin Tarantino films, and I was going to keep them all. Oh, stop it. Right, Rise of the Foot Soldier. Great film uh, about Essex boys. And, you know, I live in Essex, not far from where... Well, I used to work in the disco, Rack Hills, uh, that they all worked in and, and all that lot years and years ago. So, but, seen it. Sherlock Holmes. Great film. I like the Robert Downey Jr. ones. I like Guy Ritchie movies. Jude Law. But, uh, you know what I mean? I mean, look, I'm being brutal. You've got to be impressed. Right, don't even ask me. This is staying. The master director. Stanley Kubrick box set. This has got The Shining, 
Lolita, full metal jacket, eyes wide shut, and apparently there's some uh, hidden meanings about eyes wide shut about the world of paedophilia in the world today. Um, I think his daughter spoke out about it. I only just saw it on YouTube the other day. I'm going to look into it a little bit more. Then Barry Lyndon, 2001, and a Clockwork Orange. Really well, little brother. So, this is staying. It's, let's be honest. There's no one who comes close to Stanley Kubrick. Right. Video nasties. I'm kind of into video nasties. It reminds me of that early 80s era when VHS first came out. As well as certain movies like Conan the Barbarian and American Wealth in London. But I'm not going to go into all that because it's got to be a short-ish video. Right. I spit on your grave. But you know what? My wife tried to sell this on eBay. I bought it on Amazon or eBay, one of the two. They told her off for trying to sell obscene stuff on... It's got a certif certification on it. 18. They do make me laugh. You never know what to swap. But that's... God, I don't think... Right, this is still sealed. This is that, um, the exterminator. If you're lying, I'll be back. Still sealed. I've got to keep... Oh, Matt. Right, I'm going to have to think about that one. I know. It, this is where the problem starts, right? You try and do it right anyway. No, it's not. I'm going to Martyrs. Have you ever watched that? That's extreme horror. That will frighten a piss out of you. Excuse my French. But, um, I've seen it. Mirrors, I've got to keep that because my beautiful wife's nephew, Darren, is actually in this with Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah, Darren Kent. And he's in Blood Drive. Nice. That's staying. Right. Love these films. This cracks me up. Part of the uh, tri the Cornetto trilogy, is it? Paul. No, this one ain't actually, is it? It's The World's End. Shaun of the Dead. And I can't remember the cop's name one now. It'll be in here. No. See him. I loved this film when I watched it. The Departed. I mean, it's the Martin Scorsese classic with um, Leo and Matt, Matt Damon. And Jack Nicholson. I mean, I love Jack. I know he don't uh, come out of his house no more or whatever he does. He don't do interviews. Enough respect for that bloke. The guy lives his life his way. And his films are some of my favourite of all time. Including The Shining. He worked with a Kubrick. Mr. Nicholson. Wow. You're incredible. Uh, anyway. But. I've seen it. 2012. Done so much Roland Emmerich. And I'm a little bit tired of special effects now. It was a good film when I first saw it. See all the effects. But it's kind of depressing when you think about it. Right. Shaun of the Dead. Love this film. Oh. No. In between this movie. Funny as you like. American Arnold. Did you ever watch the series, The Inbetweeners? British UK TV series. I think it was only about three seasons, possibly four. I can't remember now. Bloody hilarious. Great. But... Step Brothers. Funny when I first saw it. Uh, but... Uh... Right. <laughs> Pierre Paolo Pasolini's Salo of the 120 Days of Sodom. Now, I'm going to keep this. This is like a BFI special edition. There's a lot of controversy about this film, and I'm not going to go into it now, but I may one day do a little ramble on this movie. Don't know yet, uh, but it's kind of gross, kind of extreme. It was written by the Marquis de Sade, so I'll leave that with you. But that's staying, because um, I actually think it's an important piece of cinema, but I can't go into it now, because, let's be honest. Right. Filth, bloody hilarious. I don't know, I bought this blind and I thought I'd see what it's like. And the film's awesome. This is James McAvoy's best film so far, I think. I mean, he's on the edge, man. Great film. Oh, no, come on, you can't stop keeping everything. Right. The next one I've got to keep. I can see it already, and just looking at it makes me smile. It's the Cohen Brothers, The Big Lebowski. It's probably my favourite, even though I love Fargo. I love Oh Brother Where Art Thou. Actually, there isn't many Cohen Brothers films I don't like. Barton Fink, you know, The Hudsucker Proxy, going right back. Um, but 
John Goodman and Jeff Bridges, their relationship, even Steve Buscemi, everyone in this film actually, the Coen brothers, this is my absolute favourite. And Jeff Bridges is the dude. Quality, absolute quality. So that's a must keep. And if you haven't seen The Big Lebowski, come on. Oh, here it is. Hot Fuzz. That was the name of the cop film with um, Simon Pegg in it and Nick Frost. Great film. Ah, Spartacus ain't in the Kubrick box set. I've got to keep it. You don't realise that Stanley Kubrick made Spartacus. It's like one of them biblical films that's done on an epic scale. But the thing is about Stanley Kubrick, he never ever sort of made the same film twice, same genre, same type, the way it's filmed or anything. So just out of pure respect for the stamp, man, I've got to do it. I've just got to do it. Right. Love this film. Bob Zemeckis, Forrest Gump. It used to sound amazing on uh, 5.1. I haven't played it for years, but I remember the Vietnam bit. It used to sound incredible on the surround sound speakers. It is a great film. And you know what I really like about this film? It doesn't have a bad guy. Now, when you think about it, you know, Lieutenant Dan, you know, all the people that he meets throughout, you know, John Lennon, Elvis, and everyone else, Kennedy. Um, oh, it's a great film, but oh, come on, strike it. King Kong. See this at the cinema. Love this film. Um, they've got a new one out now. I haven't seen it yet. It's supposed to be quite good, but we'll see. But no. Right. This is going to be the tough stuff. But I've seen so much Marvel, and they're very collectible. But over the years, I mean, I'm going right back to the 70s now, guys. I used to have the comics. I used to keep me bus fare money when we went swimming on a Sunday morning. And I used to go and buy a Spider-Man comic and walk home with it. Because it was sunny. I only had me towel. It wasn't a big deal. And I'd rather walk home and just read the comic with me money, you know. And I've been into Marvel all these years. And I still love them. But it's just so much of it now. And some of it is a bit much. I don't, you know, I don't have any um, urges to watch Wonder Woman. No, I do not. Uh, Spider-Man, yes. I don't know. Call me old-fashioned. I just like... It's just a bit much. The X-Men, yes. Hulk, yes. The Avengers, yeah. But I don't know, it just all gets a bit much for me nowadays. Maybe I'm getting old. Sounds like it, doesn't it? Anyway, but these were epic. Uh, I've got the other one somewhere. The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, the Dark Knight Rises. The Dark Knight. And what was the first one? Oh, Batman Begins. It's in there somewhere. Um, no. Now, I've got to keep this, really. My brother Steph got me it for my birthday once. These are the original back then. Yeah, how'd you keep some and not the other? No. Sorry, bruv. Don't do Blu-rays no more. Right. Terminator 2. In the tin. This one apparently had the best sound. This is the uh, Skynet edition. No bit of packaging. Couple of little bits of tweak on the sound. They bring out a whole new edition, make a full tune. They do crack me up. Great film now. You've got to remember Terminator 2 did start changing everything. Right. Call me sick and twisted. Someone's knocking at the door. It's a bit of a messed up film, really. No, do you know what? Like, like this. I've got it. Uh, Kill Bill. Volumes 1 and 2. David Carradine, Uma Thurman, Tarantino, and all the other bits. I mean, this has got everything in it that I would absolutely love in a film, you know. The soundtrack's good, the way it's filmed. It's got that grind y feel about it. Oh, no, I can't. I can't keep it. It's just... Otherwise, I'm going to end up keeping all of them. And there's just no point in doing it no more. Right. The original Tobey Maguire. Do you know what? Out of all the Marvel bits I've seen... And there's been some great, great, great scenes in the films as of late... But uh, well, I can't remember the first time, what year this came out. The first Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire. I went to the cinema, right? Didn't really know what to expect, but the trailer was looked really good. <sighs> that last bit when he said, I'm Spider-Man, then runs out, squirts down the road, runs up the walls, over the pole. I tell you what, when I have my projector in Billy Ricky, I watch that more times than anything else. And it gave me goosebumps. It gave me all the feelings that I've got when I was reading in comics walking home years and years before. Incredible. But I don't get that now when I watch that scene. It looks good, but I've seen so many bits and bobs. So, sorry. Same with the original X-Men trilogy. Amazing, but sorry. Look at this. I've only got one I'm not sure of. And that's only because it's sealed, probably. 
Right, how are we doing now? Are we getting through them? No, I've only got this two lot left. There's two lot left. I've only got these two poles left, so let's just smash through them, shall we? Right. Hostel, one and two. Pretty sick films. Just about paying people to kill. No. Although I do watch them, and they go really quick, so I must enjoy them. Yeah. Oh, no, a little bit sick. Ah, from hell, Johnny Depp. Well, Johnny Depp's come out and started talking bollocks lately, so I'm a little bit pissed off with him. But I love the Jack the Ripper story. Obviously, that's not that far from me. But no, Johnny, you ruined your life. Um, Bronson, great film. My wife loves Tom Hardy. But I'm not sure she's too bothered about this one so much. She liked him in the take, the original series. She, I know he played a baddie, but she kind of liked it. Um, another Essex Boys film, Bonded by Blood. Nah. Oh. oh, bollocks. What do you do with the Clint Eastwoods? I'm not on about all of these. I'm on about the Sergio Leone trilogy, the man with no name, the fistful of dollars, a few dollars more on for the good, the bad, and the ugly. Do you know what? I'm keeping him because, God rest his soul, last film I watched with my dad when he died, before he died, and that was like 20 years ago now, was actually uh, for a few dollars more. So, and we was just both sat in the front and watching it together and it was terrific. So, so just for you, Dad, I'm keeping that one. And I'm keeping the David Lynch box set too. Oh, the pile's growing now. Let's just separate them a little. This is terrific. This has got in it, um, Bold at Heart, a race ahead. Mm. Yeah, June, Twin Peaks, Lost Highway, and Blue Velvet with Dennis Hopper. <sighs> It's got, to be, it's got to be kept. Class. Right, Daredevil, Ben Affleck. Sorry, mate, you talk shit. Iron Man 1 and 2. Iron Man 2. Hulk. Ghost Rider. Fantastic Four. Thor. The Avengers Assembly. Can go. Am I a little bit sad about doing that? I'll get over it. Right. Last pile, guys. Let's just smash through this. Right, Taken. Good film. No more. This is England. Mm. No more. Midnight Express. No more. Oh, Machete and Planet Terror. This is that whole grindhouse thing. But if I keep one Tarantino, I'll end up keeping more Tarantinos. No. More. Right. Oh, no, but what about when you get your projector? No. Stop it. That's what warms me up. Gangster number one. Love this film. Oh. Malcolm McDowell. I've got it. I can watch it anytime. Right. Batman Begins. That was part. Of, that was the first one. Wolverine. No. Iron Man. No. Fantastic Four. No. Sp Spider-Man, the amazing one, with Andrew Garfield. Uh-uh. Independence Day, seen it, mate. The Day After Tomorrow. No, nah, same as Independence Day. Seen it, 2012. Seen it, seen it, seen it. The Martian, got to keep it as a present. Avatar. Now, Avatar. I wonder when James Cameron is going to make an Avatar 2 and completely blow everyone's mind like he did with this one. I mean, it's easily forgotten now, and not many people talk about it, but at that time, this was quite an important piece, so. Seen it though, mate. Watchmen, seen. Crazy art, I'm gonna keep, because Jeff Bridges in this was fantastic, and I love the music, and it reminds me of my first time at Cyprus. As this next one I'm gonna keep, because uh, Dee's brother actually worked on this. His name's on the credit at the end, I'm not gonna say his name, no, but, um, Yep, Tony, the London serial killer. Not easy to get hold of. Certainly not on Blu-ray. You won't get that in England. I had to import this from Germany. But, um, I'm keeping that one, Tony. Wolfman, bye-bye. This is staying. The American Wolf in London. Until they bring out a deluxe something. Da -da -ba -ba -ba. I ain't going to stay in. Piranha, goodbye. And Zombieland, even though it's got Woody Harrelson, and I love what he's doing. The guys switched on. Listen to Woody Harrelson, guys.
the 20 minutes run up. It was only supposed to be a short ramble. I didn't get through them too quickly now, did I? Unbelievable. You know what I did after, didn't you? It was still supposed to be filming. I unwrapped Exterminator and changed the cover round to the original. And it weren't filming, just the sound. Gutted. Actually, it was quite a nice presentation. Got a little book in it. Problem is, this is where it gets you into trouble. This is why you start keeping stuff. But I'm going to have a little read up of that before I... Uh, I'll probably keep this one, actually, just for... It was one of them films. But, um, yeah. But it didn't record me unboxing it. I was going to do an amazing unbox. Yeah, I'm not um, but, yeah. So. What do you think of the pile? Would you have kept any of those? Thing is, I've got loads of room down there now. You know. And, obviously, I've still got my Bruce Lee's. I kept the Clint's obviously because of Dad and me, Stanley Kubrick's, David Lynch, and a few other bits. But I can't, you know. Occasionally, I'll put with Noah and I, which is up in my bedroom on top of my PlayStation. Yeah, that will stay put. I love with Noah and I. Um, sometimes I might put that on if I've drunk too much on a weekend and I just need. I'm feeling a bit sensitive. I will uh, get in bed with a bit of with Noah and I and feel fragile. Totally enjoyed the film. It puts me in a good place. Um, so, yeah. So, I actually decluttered really, really well. So, would you have kept any? Hmm? Look, look I'm going to finish this video. I like it the other way around. I've got nice light over there. So, uh, let me just... Um, I just prefer it this way. I like the lighting. So, there you go. Um, so... I can't believe anyone sat through that 20 minute or more ramble of um, getting rid of a load of Blu-rays. But, I don't know, they're going to come up with something else soon. You know, um, smaller and more, whatever, 4K. I can't, I don't even know. Um, but a little declutter every now and again does you some good. Although I did that many years ago with a load of vinyl that I could only dream of having now. But there you go. So that's it really for today, guys. Thanks for sitting through that, if you did sit through that. I know it was quite a long video, but um, I need to do it. Give me a little bit more room in here and stuff. So um, thank you very much for watching. And I'll be back with another ramble real soon. Bye now.